Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shura. And this is Trying Morning. And this week, we're going to take some classes. It's very exciting. Yeah, some more classes, but we don't have anything in particular planned out, do we? No, I'm going to just do this little diagonal line. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, this week isn't going to be as amusing as it was with uh, Damien's path that we did before. Right. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, Horace. Oh. <laughs> Hello, dear. I was wondering about your plans for spring break. Huh? I'm going home with my family. You're welcome to remain here, you know. And why would we... <laughs> yeah. Why would I want to do that? Uh, perhaps you should come with me. Oh, God. Maybe we shouldn't come with you, Possum. <laughs> You're not very trustworthy all the time. She leads me out of the hall and into a classroom. I was thinking it would give you some time to spend with Hieronymus outside of the classroom environment. Why? It's not like we're a real couple. No, not at the moment. However... Wait, Possum, <sighs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? There are things you ought to know when dealing with that minefield of a man. Wait, wait, wait. You know how to deal with him? I don't think you want to know about his minefield, mind you. And I'm scared about her and him together. Um, whatever. When he was a young wizard, only a few years older than yourself, he had a sweetheart that he was very much in love with. Her name was Violet. Oh, come a on, Harry Potterness right here. A brilliant wild seed girl. She was not raised in our traditions, and he had his own reasons for mistrusting them. They were young and foolish, and they disregarded all the warnings they had been given. They crossed together into the other worlds. And that's a big no-no in Magical Diary Land, if <laughs> yeah. I recall. Yeah. What happened? An unguarded human soul passing the spiral gate shines like a beacon to the darkest of fair folk. They were overwhelmed by goblins and carried away. <laughs> By goblins. I'm sorry, that's really amusing. I was expecting a little bit something more dangerous than goblins. Me too. Her spirit was drained before his very eyes. Hmm. That's awful. All these years and Hieronymus has never forgiven himself. He left England, he refuses to enter the other world, and he has never allowed himself to fall in love again. So English, uh, England is a passageway to the other world, I suppose. I, I guess. Hmm... What should we say? Should she really be telling us this? Yeah, I, I think so. I think he'd kill you if you. Should you really told be us. telling me all this? I know he doesn't like people prying into his personal life, but you're not just anyone, my dear. You are all his right, wife. All right, stop that creepy. Oh smile. my god, the ET face again! <laughs> he does his best to keep people at a distance, but you, he can't get rid of so easily. So perhaps you can succeed where others have failed. Ha 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 ha! Um, if you say so. I think the two of you could make a lovely couple if you're willing to work at it. I feel like she set us up for this. Yeah. Ever wait. since, like, the first... She, like, put that blue guy out there. <laughs> with her showing up, like, right after we went yeah. in. Yeah. What a bitch. Be brave and clever, but not foolish, and who knows what might happen. Is she really trying to convince me to seduce my professor? Even if he is my husband. And we're only 16. Yeah, we're a freshman. Are we 16? Like, Yeah, freshmen? we're 16, I think. Oh, really? I was sure. 16 when I was a freshman, but whatever. It's different with magical schools. <laughs> of course. I suppose it's too late to change your plans for spring break, but do think about it. You are welcome to remain here for your future holidays. Thanks. Thanks, I guess. Good to know, I suppose. Well, class is kind of awkward after that, isn't it? Yeah. Are we going to get any kind of spell soon? I guess not. Did you hear? Virginia, stop spreading gossip, you damn whore. Hear what? Damien's been expelled. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. wait. Oh, so he's still... Even though I'm with Grabener, he... Oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Let me just read. I heard he got caught trying to make advantage of a... Trying to take advantage of a freshman boy. No name is named. And then Professor Potsdam called down flaming swords and sliced him up and he ran away. Yeah, I'm just gonna say... I'm presuming it's Manuel. Me too. I was just going to say that. <laughs> he seems easy to take advantage of. I know. And that's the only freshman boy that we know besides like Donald and Luke. And There's a boy there with wolf ears. Whatever Luke's twin's name is. I was going to say Liam, but that's, no. not, that's in real life. Um. Anyway, she brought in flaming swords on him. Why didn't she do that for me? What? Well, she did attack him. We didn't hear exactly what the attack was. And Virginia is known to exaggerate. exaggerate. Okay. So... Oh, there we go. That sounds a little over-exaggerated. Well, that's just what I heard. The important milk? thing is, he's gone. No more demon boy. I wonder what really happened. Somehow I got the sense that in another world we already somehow found out, hmm. unfortunately. 
We'll have to watch the other playthrough to find out. Or you will. Well, yes. <laughs> In the morning, all three of us are busy trying to organize our belongings before we leave for the holidays. Are you going to the play tonight? The musical? Eh, probably. If I remember where I put my change. Oh, right. Tickets cost money. She looks so Horace. annoyed. Look at Virginia. Ew. Horace? Um, Why not? We, like, oh, it's an event. We have yeah. to go to events. Yes, I'll be there. Tomorrow I'll be home again, and then there's only one month of school left. Sweet. Oh no, I can't believe it. I want more. There is going to be a sequel. Oh, but it won't be Wolf with Hall. Horace, will it? No. There we'll are a lot of people a... here, not just students, but ordinary people and families who must have driven up here to see the play. After I buy my ticket, I can go inside. What an overpriced ticket, goddamn. Oh, this thing again. The small place of purchase of frightening things is an exciting story packed with song and dance and special effects, especially the scene where the librarian has to fend off an entire jungle of killer plants with her flaming sword. There's a lot of flaming swords this episode. Yeah. In order to rescue her swooning love interest. I feel interest. like there's uh, some kind of undertone to this flaming sword. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know a lot about music, but the songs are fun and keep things moving. So do you think Potsdam's really a man? <laughs> she has a flaming sword? Yeah. Well, I remember Virginia might be packing something underneath her Oh, robe. yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, by the end, it would appear that the world is doomed, but thankfully, only the world on stage. Yeah, duh, Horace, come on. Thankfully. <laughs> I'm being <laughs> worried there for a moment. <laughs> oh. Spring break! Woo! Party! So we didn't stay with Grebner then, I guess. I guess not. Instead, but we it, spent it our time like an op staring up at the sky as usual. Horace is just a complete space cadet. I know. But why was that even an option? I'm sad. That's oh, kind it's... of disappointing. Well, another visit over. I can't help but think that this feels more like coming home than last Saturday. Then oh. why did you go home, Horace? You should have stayed here with Hieronymus. Burn, family. I know. Burn. The person I am at home is a lie. A happy face I put on <laughs> to comfort my parents. Wow. They don't know all the things that have happened to me. The dungeons, the dangers, the monsters. The husband. The marriage. They don't know I'm married and will be divorced before I'm 18. <laughs> and I can't wow. entirely understand the things they talk about. A space shuttle failed. Okay. There's a little war going on halfway around the world. Oh, really? I, I never heard of any of this. There's school. always a war going on halfway around the world, damn it. I know. Come on, seriously. Constant war. More and more we become disconnected. Whew. All right, so I guess we'll end this episode here. Yeah. And next week we will enter April. Oh, yeah. man. Last month of school. No. School ends in April. It does? I think there's like a few days in May, but oh, snap. you just have like an exam, and then we have a school dance. Oh, freaking exams. God damn. But what about the dance? Are you excited for that? Well, can I dance with Hieronymus? <laughs> you can dance if you want to. <laughs> oh, God. All right, everyone. So we'll see you next week. Bye. Later.